hi guys welcome back to another video uh you know power went down after hours get to know story time anyways i'm going to tell a story about um when my daughter was in five grade yes before um gsat then time daddy gsat anyways from she used to go this primary school where from she in her first grade you know them are first brightest to come brightest and on and on and she had come right up from first grade to five grade in you know, her first brightest but for some reason um you know what happened you know when them call um consultation day where the parent and the teacher meet yeah with the child and talk about the child and how the child is doing in school and stuff like that anyways um there was this consultation day like the last the last consultation day before the the school year they finish anyways let me go to the consultation day and you know you have to wait till the time come anyways my time come go up with Brianna and the teacher did their talk but you know how some teacher would have talk and talk with little remorse and you know little loving of them people that teacher I did ash for some reason it's like Brenna never had a well in her class and she decided she, she did their talk about how she had doing her class and I say Brenna could have did improve and this and that and a whole heap of things she has say and you know sometimes as parents when you hear a teacher talk about a child like that it break you so me love ball you know people trust me me love ball and when me sit down there and me hear the teacher talk and then you know how she talk harsh to make it even worse so she did the attack and boy I don't even know the feeling of rolling back tears but see me every minute and she talk a little bit more and touch the next corner and I come here try to hold back the tears you come here say me, you, you ever wonder what go on with your child make them now uh, um, operate or them for operate at school or make the progress that they supposed to make at school so after she done her everything me did feel upset because you know when you push your child you ensure your child do them homework and you check them book when them come home and all of the stuff them like that i me did feel upset but when we go outside it, you know my call her instead of my cuss her my call her i'm start talk to her i'm start ask her if something wrong if somebody are fast with her at school um if um she want to tell me something you know because sometimes it doesn't make no sense to cuss them out and say after we are saying go to school this and that and blah 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 sometimes we have to talk to them because sometimes maybe when we cuss them will make it worse anyways this teacher did say this one thing when me and I, when she had talked to me and i said um she don't think that my daughter should move on to grade six because she's not performing well and whatever whatever and at, at that push me for the if you push me i can a little faster come here and say for brain i'm gonna repeat from one grade i come to five grade and she'll do so good i went to reach in a five grade me i forgot make to repeat no sir anyways we go outside i'm ready i'm here talk to her and she said no mommy nothing not wrong and the teacher not like me and you know what i chat to them type of something anyways you know so when a teacher tell you to your child of a repeat you have a say in a that for whether you want your child to repeat or not because you know the potential of your child me they choose not to make sure repeat so the fact that me don't make sure repeat all that who she did in our class with continue in the first bracket and she dropped to the second so she in a, a whole class with pure new kids and all of that they know anyway um september morning come and you know when it still feel kind of down and something worse and we see the other kids them everybody are rushed to you know them type of way eh? anyways get for me to teach and something something and 
my daddy trust me when me me not ramp for pray for my pit you know me not ramp for pray for my child so me you know meet a teacher you know orientation and thing like that you meet the teacher them and whatever and I think a week after when I remember what happened what made a fee me end up stuck down at the school and her teacher talked to me and teacher said you know say you have one spe special child I'm say yeah man me know and he must say for some reason I just take on to your child and me see the potential in her. I say sometimes one teacher will not see the potential in your picnic and make you have your picnic and repeat, repeat and repeat and make you have cuss all your picnic and them something there. And then another teacher we see the potential the moment them see them but guess what and for the teacher them see the potential in their picnic you know after we see the potential in our child and know say you know say me know break and do better me now make sure repeat me yeah. then we we'll push her forward anyways you know what sixth grade now so g sort of come up and thing the teacher trust me the teacher man teacher there <laughs> What do you see my one big smile come from my face? Me I tell you, still the teacher take her up in her and me I tell you, Brian I go a regular five days of school, Saturday class, Sunday class, plus the five days them after school, she had do extra class. And me I tell you, say, me decide to me I put out everything because Jesus had to come up and me want the teacher there for CR and say, what it? Look how me did say, me did want her to repeat. Me say, that make it even worse me did I put out my effort for push her for say so the teacher give me this um strategy for say this a, a, you know a, a, I think a five subject them doing a G sat so him say two hour each day two hour each day per each subject people whether me have to go at work town whatever me have to do me make sure say me find a two hour day and all of me understand what I do because all for maths all of me understand what I do I have this friend that I call she and um fear son and my daughter come from basic school when I understand I usually call her and she usually say yeah man this and that and she talk to me and something man make me understand too, so me can help she understand and my daddy with her sometimes when I see, when I see two hours done people but back the time I not even make sure know sometimes at three or three and a half hour where I go and she no know say at three and a half hour three to three and a half hour where I do because me I tell her say me I put out everything and me I tell her say when my daddy when she go on Sunday so when she reach in the arm um, six grade people every test what she do not in the under 90 90 goes straight up to 100 and a pure them pure of them score the shell lick when she in a um sixth grade. I mean I may I say to myself, say, I may I say, oh, what a teacher ya did a talk about trust me, I push and I push and I push when time come for Jesus I mean, decide to alright then it, I think them send one one paper for we through the school or child where child for go. Fear top school was Woolmans. So I say alright then we we'll make sure pick two school where she was and then me choose the rest of the school then. When the day when me carrying the paper now, the teacher cuss me out and say, What is what they may write on the paper for theme top student and take the paper to take another paper? I wait, they go. I don't remember, but him, I think a pencil or something like that, me write the school them in. So him rewrite over about the school them what him choose fear. But him they make her whole mass there first, though. Mm hmm. All my girls. So, you know, one still there, push her, push her, push her, push her, push her, till one time Brie takes sick. I don't know if I push her too hard till she takes sick. And one day the teacher called me from work for come down at school and said to me, say, um, Brenna need a break. It's like me that push her too hard. Say, Brie need a break. I think about one week or the weekend, like the Friday, the Saturday, and the Sunday, and then she go back at school the Monday. I don't remember good. A week to the weekend, I think she did take from school. The teacher said, Make sure she play a cartoon, make sure play games, and treat her and them something there. You know, make sure take her mind a little bit after half of school work. And I try my best to do that. 
I call me and say three days a week na stop her from doing she had do. Somebody do what the teacher tell me for do. Then she end up go back to school and whatever, whatever. And me I tell her say Jesus finally come and ask me now. You know them parents eh, when no say them child I go do good, but still they were my friend. I me that she go she do I think a two two test a day I think something like that. She go to school, she do it when she come home and she reach the door. Brian, how was it? He did it easy. I mean, I said, oh God. Because sometimes when she come home, I you see, previously, when she come home, I she do a test. I mean, I said, how was it? And she said, easy. She will get all in her 70 or 80. And I mean, I said, if it did easy, you know, I get 90 or 200. But anyways, she said, easy. Take her as her, at her word. Every day she come home, we do the same thing. We ask her all the tests. She said it's easy. Then you know, say after Jesus, there was a long period of time they were for wait before results come out, and the longest period of time that made it after wait. Me I tell you, say, and the day when she, me ear said the results are come out, I don't think me go work that day there. I think me the do them. And me and the same girl, let me say, me always a call and I talk to about the maths work. Throw them on the phone and talk and we can't wait for a picnic call where for them come home and something something. Anyways, um the woman on the phone flash she finally called me people and when she called me, a piece of screaming in at the background. Box cover. She scream and she scream because her first child was Ulmas, her second child was Saint Yuz. I don't remember the rest of the child them. But me I tell you say what I come on my eye when she call me and I scream and I tell me say yes come on my father my father sent you my father sent you people me I tell you say it's like at the happiest moment for me because I know say tears did come on my eye when the teacher did that tell me say for make sure repeat and me I tell you say sorry. I tell you, say, some of the time them are we have to believe in our picnic. We can't make no teacher tell one not, we can't make no body a road tell one not, and we just have to believe in our child. I want to see them now make the progress so we know them supposed to make. Talk to them, find ways to help them and push them because if me did follow the teacher there and make sure repeat. I don't know what the following step would be after that. Because I don't know which class she'd end up in. If the teacher would see what that man teacher they see in a she. And you know, the, him they just take the time for help she alone. Him take the time for help me for help she. And for she say, she come out at her best. It was just a joy for me and not just for me but for she and for the teacher as well because when him hear about the school where she passed for him did happy to the teacher did so happy the teacher did glad trust me and for just a little encouraging word take the time out with the kids sit down and talk to a picnic if a sister um, every day them come home or have to get homework and they say no 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 Make sure they have a number for them farm teacher or for some teacher for find out who are going. Because it not take it not take five hours or ten minutes out of time for call the teacher for find out who are going with the child at school. Take the time with them and sit down. All when you not understand. Sometimes Bridge usually carry some work on giving people. I may not have a clue if it right or it wrong. Me go to Google. Me say, give me a minute and I go to Google. I'm going to start Google down the place or I'm going to go on YouTube and type in more just to find out if it's right. Because it doesn't make no sense. You don't understand. And you say, yeah man this, yeah man that, yeah man that. And then when they go to school, you're wrong. Because they never come to it. And then I say, every time I go to mommy, she say yeah. And then it's wrong. So me usually take the time or I'm going to call the girl. Because I ever call her. We call her anytime we touch schoolwork, and we call her teacher. I'm going to Google, I'm going to YouTube to find out how to do it and try it my way. And if she had one matter, me not understand it, and she know it good, she teach me the maths. 
she teach me the maths and quiz me upon the maths and, and the more she do that with me and the more she learn it or understand it I may tell her say it's a drive this is she reach 11th grade now and she's still there at the top of our class she's still there at the top of our class she's still a do great so just take the time out with her picnic because we, know, we have to work because if we don't work so all the time we as mothers alone and we have to work we have to clean we have to this and we have to that and we still have to ensure that our child them good we still have to ensure that them good we still have to check up me will call her one million one time Brian are you good? Brian are you good? Brian, it's coming like she gets annoying at some time but I just need that Brian are good? Brian are good? and some of the time them they are work and I call her Brian are you alright? yes mommy remember say call me 10 minutes ago I need that I call her once she did my me they are work, I call her every minute I call her I check up on her I check up, I check up, I check up on her check up on the picnic Find out if them are. You know, take nothing out of them say, I love you every day. Or give them a hug at daytime or a morning time before them go to school. And them type of something. Day. So, take the time out with them a picnic. Because some of the time, them members say them are human too. And we feel like, oh, they just go to school and not come and they have nothing on the head. I lie. I lie that. Remember when you was a child and you come home and it's either some something who not think about or somebody a fast who don't know school or who don't like one teacher because the teacher not shown no love them something to respond to the head and if we sometimes ask them what is wrong they not going to come to we and tell we so take the time out find out if a child them good so now we have three four five picnic you know take nothing for ask them if they all right take one and one time with them at their time Cause we don't have a bunch of time because as I said we have to work and we have to do a bag of things check on them before they go to bed or in the early morning before when they might eat them breakfast or whatever they might do just check on the child because some, as sometimes as big as them be too sometimes they 18, 20 not, not, you know, not, not how to still find out if they are alright because we are all human and we go through things and sometimes some people talk and say no, I have to load them up, but they make their own mistakes. Sometimes the encouragement that we give and the type where we talk to them make them make less mistake in their life. Because they say, yes, mommy used to tell me this, you know, or daddy used to tell me this, you know. Because there are some good fathers out there to turn up with them picnic. So, just take the time out with your child and make sure that they are alright and things like that. I really do hope you guys enjoy this video and have a blessed, blessed, blessed Wednesday.